Hi guys and ladies, I found an easy, quick fish recipe that I'm anxious to try. It's got a bit of a French twist to it, and I don't mean a 60s hairdo. So I picked up all the ingredients. Ah, except, well, you know which one, the fish. Although it's finally warmed up here, it's really windy. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Because of these fierce winds, we can only fish the sheltered side of the lake. The water is still muddy too, so let's use this jig with a black two and a half inch plastic tail. You see, black contrasts best in murky water, so this should catch anything that swims, I hope. Let's get in the boat and fish. Thing. It's another big crappie. We continue where we left off. Wow, I don't believe it. The size of the crappie in this lake are unbelievable. Look at that baby. I think I got some. There's a fish, but it's hooked on something. Look. It's too hard to explain. <laughs> but the fish took the lure and then wrapped it around the branch, and I was just lucky to finally get the fish. Perfect eater, it's 10 inches. We're supposed to remove these little ones from the lake, say the scientist who did an electroshock survey. They need to be removed to make room for the others. Come on, right at the boat. I think it might be too big to eat. Just a shy bit over 12 inches, but I'm going to keep it. I should really return the ones over 12, say the scientist, but come on, we need our dinner. You can't always just get the lure out of the tree. Sometimes you have to take part of the tree with you. Yep. <laughs> I got one. Where is he? He's got under the boat. <laughs> now we're talking. Unfortunately, all the fish are on the windy side of the lake, and it's much easier to fish on the sheltered part. Perfect eater. About 11 and a half inches, just what I'm looking for. Oh, got one. I got one. I think it's a crappie. Oh. Sure enough. Oh, 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 look at the size on these guys. Almost 13 inches. What happened? I caught a fish. I caught an edible fish. Got to remove these from the lake. Yeah, light, light cap. Just what I don't want. <laughs> Look at the size on these crappie and I don't even want them. I want bass and bluegill. Not a giant. Oh, it's a big bass. <laughs> oh, <laughs> too big to eat. A nice bass. 13 and one half inches. 
Do you remember this lure? It's called a Finesse TRD. I used it a few weeks ago to catch that really big bass. Let's just use this. Wow! I got one! <laughs> it's not big, but it's big enough to eat, and I love the taste of little bass. Oh. <laughs> Looky here, I have plenty of fish. Let's get back in the house and fillet these guys, and tomorrow we'll make our French twist recipe. Yesterday we caught fish despite the wind and muddy water. And looky here, just the bass alone produce well over a pound of nice little fish fillets. And I'm anxious to get started on our French twist recipe, but I'd like to do a little mushroom appetizer side dish for added fun. First thing, I need chopped chives. I've got like six portobello caps here, and somehow I have to clean out these gills. I guess they call them gills. They're not even close to perfect, but they're good enough. Here is where we set our oven to 375. I'm using spray-on olive oil. I'm going to pop our shrooms in the oven for just 10 minutes. Here's what I had left over in the refrigerator. About a half a cup of goat cheese crumbled goat cheese. And look, about the same amount of gorgonzola. Let's mix them together. I'm going to soften the mixture a little bit in the microwave. In only 40 seconds, I have a creamy mixture here. Now, I'm going to add chives, remember? Now, I'm going to bulk our mixture up with a half cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. Ah, ah, ah! These aren't ordinary breadcrumbs. These are low-carb breadcrumbs. Look what I'm doing. I'm doing this by hand. I'm just taking our cheese breadcrumb mixture and patting it on top. These kind of look like cookies. Cookies from Mars. I'm going to put our cookie shrooms in the oven for just five more minutes and then they're done. But I'll do that at the last minute just before serving. Right now, let's get on to the fish. This recipe is so easy, I worry there's something wrong with it. Look, eight tablespoons of sour cream are going into this bowl. I guess authentic French would say creamy fracici or something. Creme, creme fraiche, that's it. That's over a half cup. Two heaping teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Here I'm putting in a half teaspoon of tarragon. Mmm, I smell the mustard. Let's crank this oven up to 450 now. My little bass don't weigh much, but they take up a lot of room. So I'm using two casserole dishes, and I'm going to spray them. It's not in the recipe to spray them, but I feel safer. So I laid our fish out in these casserole dishes. Now, I'm going to loosely cover them with foil and pop them in the oven for only five minutes. No seasoning. I have here one of these shakers. I stole it from the local pizzeria, and now look. Pecorino Romano. You could use Parmesan. Let's get it, oh no. Let's get it in there. No! It's been five minutes. Let's get our fish out. You're not gonna see much. It's gonna be very plain. We've got our sour cream mixture here and a spoon, and I'm gonna cover each filet with some of this. Going to paint now. Oh yeah, this is so easy. This is not just easy, it's fun. Now, I'm going to sprinkle this Parmesan Pecorino Romano over each piece, lots of it. And then we'll pop it back in the oven for five more minutes. Look at these, they're going back in the oven now. While our fish is roasting away in the oven, you should all know the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is on her way over here for dinner tonight. 
Of course, I'm too shy to tell her that I love her, but it occurred to me that even after seeing each other for decades, she's never said it to me either. Some friends here have suggested I loosen her up a bit with some wine, and you know that might just work. Our fish is done. Ooh. Whoa, that looks good. It smells great. I've got to taste this. Mmm. Oh yeah. You see, the sour cream makes it rich and creamy, and the Parmesan Pecorino Romano makes it like really pop with some spice. I like this. Ah, our Martian cookies look great. Well, today's guest is no stranger to you. It's the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for joining me here at my uh, modest modular mobile home. And uh, we dined on gorgonzola and goat cheese stuffed mushrooms and uh, French twist <laughs> baked fish in a cream sauce. And I was wondering what you think. Oh, and even a romantic glass of wine. It was all very good. The uh, fish was tasty and the topping was well prepared and the, the mushrooms Rich. were very nice. Creamy. I enjoyed them very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Cheeks. Oh, I can say Lulu now. I love you. <laughs> is, that, is that you or the wine talking? It, it's me talking to the wine. Um, can I have a hug? Thank you.